Okay guys, I'm gonna uh, show you guys how to update a Korg Oasis. Um, I'm gonna update the Oasis to the, the latest version. The last version that came out was a 1.3.3 A. And, uh, and I'm gonna use a CD that I, I just uh, burned the, the ISO image to the CD. And it's a 1.3.3 A. And uh, this is how you uh, um, update a uh, Korg Oasis. So I'm gonna put the CD inside before I turn it on, and then once we boot it up, it's gonna it's gonna show the the options that we that it gives you. Okay, so we're gonna be updating the the OS on the Korg Oasis. I burned a CD, an ISO image of the update 1.3.3a for the Korg Oasis, and it's now booting up with the CD installed inside. And uh, so pretty much it's going to take us to a screen. And this is the latest, the last version they made, version 1.3.3a. So you always want to make sure you back up your PCG file before you uh, decide to do any update. Because it can uh, erase any com any combination program, you know, sounds that you created on here or whatever. And that way you can back it up and you can always install it after. Um, everything loads up if anything goes wrong so we're gonna go ahead and push enter because that's all it's asking us are you sure you want to update the OS factory yes we push enter and then it starts going through a process of updating the OS um, system so it's just one CD and um, that's pretty much it so we'll see what happens after it loads so is this the way you update a Korg Oasis? And so normally to get the update you can always go to korgusers.net and uh, register your Oasis and uh, you can uh, download the factory uh, sounds and also uh, OS updates and other expansions and stuff like that. So right now it's just loading. It says update complete. Okay, please remove CD and turn off the power. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is load my PCG file because uh, obviously it erased all my stuff and it and it put everything back to the factory mode, factory sounds. So I f I went back where I showed you guys where to save the PCG file and I'm gonna load them. And I'm gonna check. Let me check that. There you go. There's all my sounds that I had uh, previously put put on there. So, anyways, um, that's a good idea to save your PCG file on USB or on the hard drive, and you will be able to load them later after the OS update. Um, if you do not, then you're gonna lose everything you created on there. Okay. Thanks.